Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a sit down, talk with me kind of video, which I haven't done in a really long time. And I'm doing my top tips to get healthy for back to school. So I feel like I have some good tips. Before I start the video, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. It would mean a lot to me. And like this video if you like it. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So my first tip for getting healthy is not actually about being healthy but it really helps you be healthy okay it is to be organized and this is not only in you know your school but in all aspects of your life including your health and fitness so I use a bullet journal to stay organized and I have um, two videos on my bullet journal you know you can customize it to whatever you want to keep track of so I keep track of a lot of fitness things including like all my habits so I keep track of like when I'm exercising when I'm eating healthy and then on those days when you check it off it makes you feel really accomplished and you can kind of see your progress throughout you know month to month and then I've also written you know my meals in here before if you've never heard of this or tried this method for planning it might be what works for you and you don't have to be super artistic it's just basically a planner that you can design yourself and that brings me to my tip number two which is scheduling in your workouts so I'm going to be a senior in college so I get my class schedule and I know what days I'm going to be busy and when I'm gonna have time and when I'm not gonna have time so I'm going to plan go to yoga at what time if I can or plan my workouts in so if you have class from 9 to 3 plan in a workout from 3 30 to 4 30 and that way if it's like scheduled into your day you can't really make an excuse to miss it and you know exactly how to plan the rest of your time so even if you have like a big project or something you can schedule it outside of your workout time if you already had planned to take out time to work out then you won't be falling behind so I would recommend kind of putting together like a little schedule that fits with your class schedule my third tip is to set goals for your workout so the best way that I did this is I signed up for a half marathon at the end of July and that kept me like I had to work out for the months of May, June and July because or else like I paid for this marathon like they're they can be expensive they're like 50 to 100 dollars um, so if you've never signed up for one and maybe not half marathon but maybe sign up for a 5k or a 10k or a 10 mile give yourself something to work towards that keeps you accountable I'm actually signing up for another half marathon because I just want to you know keep going throughout fall and I strongly recommend signing up for some sort of workout something it's something to work towards it's really motivating and at the end you can say that you ran this far sometimes there's like prizes and stuff too at the um, actual races moving into the nutrition part and this is something that I just started incorporating this summer but I have like I think it's so important and that is meal prep and I'm not saying that you need to prep every single meal like Monday through Friday lunch and dinner but having backup supplies of healthy foods that are pre-cooked like will change your life at the beginning of the week I typically make like a batch of tofu a batch of sweet potato a batch of brown rice I um, take beans out of a can and I put this all into Tupperware and put it in the fridge because that will last a week and that way when you come home from class and you're exhausted and want to go eat out you already have pre-cooked food in the fridge that you can throw in the oven or the microwave and it's super easy so find recipes that you like pre-cook your meals um, or at least some of the ingredients so you have stuff on hand so it makes it easier during the week when you're busy and you're more likely to cave and then my final tip is when you go grocery shopping you're the one who's putting the food in your apartment if you don't come home with unhealthy food you won't be eating it you go on a full stomach don't go hungry because or else you'll be tempted to buy a bunch of unhealthy food but when you go grocery shopping just don't buy the sweets like it sounds so simple but it honestly like changes everything and then kind of going along with this tip find substitutes for your cravings so if you really like chips for example you could try switching to popcorn so it's kind of like the same thing but it's gonna satisfy your craving but it's not as bad for you it's all about finding something that is better than what you'd be eating as an alternative and this goes for like I have gone 
pretty much dairy free so I buy coconut yogurt versus normal yogurt you know coconut milk versus normal milk or almond milk works the same in terms of like candy I know I have like the worst sweet tooth ever so I'll make like homemade um, peanut butter cups that are just with dark chocolate and then all natural peanut butter instead of you know going to the store and getting a Reese's peanut butter cup it's still not good for you but it's better than what it would be figuring out things that you can eat that are going to be to look forward to them but they're not as bad as like binge eating really unhealthy things I think is a good step in the right direction. So those are my five tips for how to get healthy for back to school. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys learned something. These have like seriously turned my summer around even though they're so simple. If you're conscious about it and you're thinking about what you're eating um, you are going to you know feel better and if you guys want me to do more what I eat in a day is healthy fitness vlogs and stuff while I'm at school I will definitely do my best to do so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next